What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug and I'm back again with my Chefman 8 quart see-through window with probe air fryer. Today for you guys we're gonna make some burgers from Frozen guys. I got this obviously from Walmart but I'm sure your supermarket sells something just like this. So this is what they look like guys and I like that it has this little paper under it so it doesn't get um, stuck together although you could use a butter knife to kind of get them apart but I like that th this is there but this is raw it's frozen now disclosure th these will never be the homemade burger right you know you did get the ground beef from the store it's not frozen you season it up and all that stuff that will never this will never beat that but if you have this in your deep freezer or if you just like to make these I want you to show you a flavorful way of making these because I've watched two videos so far on YouTube and they did not put any seasoning on there and that is absolutely ridiculous. I just stopped watching the video and I said immediately I'm going to go to um, Walmart and buy these and do my version because I, I don't understand what's up with that. Now I'm going to show you what I would recommend you buy if you were to buy um, frozen burgers, what I normally would buy. I don't normally would buy this, but let me show you what I normally would get. And by the way, guys, this is everything that I'll be using. We got some sharp cheese, brioche buns, tomatoes, onions, bacon, and this is what I'll be seasoning it with. My go-to season, some extra garlic and some what's your sister social sauce. That's all you need, baby. All right, guys, so we got two frozen patties in there, and I put two strips of bacon in there. Um, I imagine the bacon will cook faster than the burgers, but that's fine. But anywho, I've never cooked these style of frozen burgers before, but I can't imagine it take more than 12 minutes. I, I can't imagine that. So we're going to go 10 minutes at 400, and we'll check it out at 5. Hopefully we can season it at 5, because we definitely need to season it. So let's pop it in. All right, let's do we're at 400 like we said, and the time I want to do, yeah, let's keep it at 15. Just to be safe, I'm going to check it at 5. And to my subscribers new to this machine, like I said, this has a see-through window with light. So you can easily see your food. Okay guys, this is at five minutes and this is what you want to see. See a little of that going on and you see the edges getting brown. So what I'm going to do is poke some holes in there just so that my seasoning and um, what your sister's social sauce can kind of get through both sides because I'm going to cook it for another five minutes. So yeah, this may take 15 minutes guys. This actually might just do that. Hopefully your holes will sop up all that goodness. This is garlic powder, guys. Don't be shy. Just believe me. If you don't season these good, it's going to taste like cardboard. I promise you. It will. And this is my go-to. Link will be in the description, guys. And we're going to pop it back in for another five minutes and then flip all right guys, 10 minutes have passed and this is exactly how I want this side to look. It's actually perfect. So now what I'm gonna do is flip them over. And let them cook for the other five minutes. But before we do that, we are going to season them. Okay guys, I actually pulled it with two minutes left. So we did a total of 13 minutes so far. So let's see. Let's get our meat thermometer out and we'll see. 163, 165, 166. We're right there. Perfect. So not even the full 15 minutes. So 13 minutes is all it took. And we're good to go. I double cheese the one on the left with some sharp cheese. And we're ready to eat. We got the brioche buns perfectly toasted here, guys. All right, we got our tomato. We got our crunchy bacon on. I think we're ready, guys. It's paper towel time. This could be you guys. 
Shout out to my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even finished. I appreciate that. All right, guys. You saw the paper towel go up. It means it's time to eat. And I'm ready. From Frozen, guys. You get the first bite. You got it? All right. Very good. For it to be frozen. This is very good. This tastes almost as good as if I did it on like a frying pan from scratch or an air fryer and from scratch. Almost as good. But good enough not to complain. This is very flavorful, guys. You got to try it out. Take another bite. Mmm. Perfect. I'm not going to lie, guys. For 15 minutes from Frozen, doing all what we did, which is like the bare minimum, this is a heck of a cheeseburger. I, I, I ain't even going to lie. Again, does not beat homemade from scratch but it is a strong second place I tell you so if you don't like to make it from scratch this way you won't miss anything so definitely try it out for sure I forgot to give you a swig of my Heineken light you got it ah, nice and cold from the freezer guys that was just too easy 13 minutes of your life and some of your air fries, they may even do it in 10. So just watch the time. Couple of seasonings. We use my go-to seasoning, which is the pink salt, garlic, and pepper. Some What's Your Sister Social Sauce. And some extra garlic powder. That's all we did. 13 minutes of our life. And that tastes very close to a homemade burger. From Frozen. So we can keep this in our, you know, deep freezer, freezer for months. Six months. A year, even. And whip it out when we need it. So I hope this video was informative for you guys. And of course, I'm going to leave a link in the description to this Chefman 8-quart air fryer. Like I said, as you saw, it has a see-through window with light. And it also has an internal meat probe, which we could use for this burger. But I know everyone doesn't have that. So I want to do it manually. So to let you know that, you know, I didn't want to show off on this video and use the meat probe but this does have a meat probe and you set the uh, desired temperature and then it turns off when it hits it so it would have been super easy but I wanted to do it the hard way on this uh, cook because I know like I said a lot of you guys don't have that and I just wanted to show I like to depend on my meat thermometer anyway to be honest even though this meat thermometer is accurate I still like to use my own that's just me but anywho enough of me rambling link will be in the description to this air fry pick it up Great, great entry level air fryer, guys. It's um, perfect to replace one of your older air fryers. Maybe you have one like five, seven years old. This is perfect, state of the art. Or if you're looking to gift somebody, we're approaching the holiday season. Why not gift someone this air fryer? It's got all the latest features. It's not intimidating, easy to clean, all that good stuff. So hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video. It's Cooking with Doug. I'm out.